Hello, good morning everyone on this um, dreary bank holiday Monday over here. I just want to give uh, my views on the events at Old Trafford yesterday. And hopefully, by getting my points across, you can see where I'm coming from. And these are just basically my opinions. If you disagree or agree with them, that's up to you. But these are just my opinions on it. Uh, yes. Shocking turn of events. That, um, in case you don't know, fans broke into Old Trafford, got onto the pitch and protested against the ownership of the club, the Glazers. Uh, so, this is my opinion of it. Uh, I don't condone. I do condone, you know, that they broke into it. They broke, you know, it's criminality. They broke into Old Trafford. To send a message across, so they are unhappy with the ownership of the club, and they also got media attention as well. Obviously, they did. But I agree with the message. They've had enough. They want people in charge who care about the club, and you can do all your petitions that you like, your signatures and nothing. It won't matter. This probably won't matter. But now they've got, the Glazers would have known about it by now, I'm sure. I'm not too familiar, but I'm sure they've been told about it. They've been made aware. They've seen the videos, the pictures, there's all been viral. And they know why. What, and that is most important. Why are they protesting? Because they've had enough. They've had enough of the owners. Now, as Arsenal fans, we can definitely relate to that, relate to that because of Cronkays. Do the Cronkays care? No. Are they going to do anything about it? No. The only interest Glazers and the Cronke have in our club is in the bank balance. That's the only interest they want to see. They do not care about us as fans. They do not care about the club. They're businessmen. And all they care about is that. So I agree with the United fans for doing that I don't I, no, I agree with the message they're trying to get across not not the protest not the criminality part but I agree with the message because without us the fans the clubs are nothing you look how much we pay especially with the pandemic as well how much we pay in subscription fees for all the various streaming services just to watch our teams just so we can have a chance to watch them because we can't go to the games. Look how people from around the world, you can go on my various Twitter accounts, not mine but others as well, what time they get up, how early they get up just to follow the teams and how much are they paying for description services. It all comes back on that Super League, which was just an atrocious bit of PR timing. How can you say, during a global pandemic, you know, people people not working, furloughed or lost their jobs because they couldn't be supported financially and, you know, basically went out of business. You look at the low elite clubs and everything. How can you say, there you go, there's your elite teams in Europe. They will play in a competition, where you can't really call it a competition. It's just basically about money. I agree with Greg, Gary Neville's uh, tirade against it. Absolutely. Uh, Tottenham, no one worries about them anyway. But you see it as, you know, that all it is, I, I don't usually agree with Pep Guardiola, but he was right in what he said with saying, it's not a sport if there's no competition. Now, in this, correct me if I'm wrong in this, in this European. Super League, there was no uh, relegation or promotion. So basically, it's like a Six Nations, as it were. The same teams, year in, year out. You can't go down, you can't go up. Basically, it's all about revenue. What it comes down to. I mean, look how much we pay in season tickets. Yeah, we may moan about it, but we'll still pay it. Because we want to support our club. I want to go to I want to go to the Emirates. I want to go down with my mates, have have a laugh, have a you know see them. But 
obviously the owners won't care about that. They won't care. Oh, I'm thankful for him or her for, for paying this. That really means a lot because they know if we don't renew or subscribe again, someone else will. That we are expendable. And I don't know about United's situation, but certainly on Arsenal, we've now got, however true it is, so by all accounts on his Twitter and everything, he, he wants to invest. He's a co-founder of Spotify. He wants to take over the club. Because he's a fan. Since the early 90s. And he's got Henri on board, Burkamp, Vieira. So hopefully, now there's a springboard of Get out. Get out. Take your money and go. It won't matter to them. They go out, they just invest somewhere else. Because all it is is an investment, it's a business. They will see that, you know, they'll go and go and invest somewhere else. It's just another one to chalk off on their portfolio. We tried it there, it didn't work. I'll go again. But that's just my views on it. I don't know what yours are. Please comment down below if you uh, if you agree with it or, or disagree. And just tell me why. You know, if you want to. But I'm just saying I agree with the message of United fans that they have had enough of these owners that do not care about their club. As I say, we're the same with Cronkays. So hopefully this will start getting the message across now that is time for a change. And having said that, and you know, probably United fans will go, well, you know, we're doing well. We're second in the league. Basically in the Europa final. I can't see Roma getting four clear goals. But you never know. So so what have they got to protest about? What have they got to be unhappy about? It's just the investment side that they want to see the money they put into the club. They want to see it on the pitch. I think it's Kenny Dalglish that said, correct me if I'm wrong, Kenny Dalglish said when he was first Liverpool manager, said the fans don't care about the money in the bank. They want to see all that money in the bank on the pitch. So basically, buying up the players to take you up there. So I haven't, you know, if that's true, then it's right. No one wants, no one cares about the bank balance. They do as businessmen. All they want to see is on the pitch that we're paying the money, all this money for tickets, merchandise, uh, subscription fees, you know, to, to watch, to watch the games. All they want to see is the investment on the pitch that our money is contributing towards that. Now, I think that's the same with United fans as well. But please, correct me if I'm wrong. And enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Take care.